what's going on everybody welcome to your eighth C++ tutorial in which we'll be discussing about something called namespaces in C++ now namespaces in C++ um, to understand those let me give you a quick example let's say you have a friend named John and you have another friend named the same name John so you have two friends with similar name John now when you save their mobile numbers in your phone then what you'll do is you could either write uh, save their contacts as John school friend or John coaching friend or um, their full names so in short you will make some sort of distinction between the two so that you could recognize immediately which John you are referring to so similarly in C++ we need something called namespaces to recognize which function or variable or block of code we are calling so to simplify things let me give you a quick example let's say uh, we have a function let's say we have an imaginary library called my function here and let's say inside this my function what we have is a function and it just says see out wow and let's say right here as well I have a void my function and it also says see out wow again so in the main when I will call my function then the compiler actually does not know which function I am referring to so to fix this what we make use of is called namespaces so let's say I'll show you a real quick example of this so let's say I create a namespace here namespace and I guess I'm a little bit of quick because I started off with the functions so I guess I should just leave that and let's just assume with variables only so let's say I create a namespace mehul and inside the namespace I said int my age is 18 and right here I created a namespace John and I said int my age is 20 so inside the main let's say I do C out <coughs> Mayhol's age and my age now the compiler does not know which age I am referring to so to specify that what we will make use of is called the scope resolution operator and the scope resolution operator is, is two columns now these two columns means that we are referring to a particular scope now if I type the namespace of my age and write two columns then this means that my age <coughs> inside the variable inside the namespace of Mayhul. so if I'll run this program uh, I'll just get rid of that line so if I run this program so you see that it gives me Mayhul's age 18 but if I change that to John now what will happen is since I am referring to the scope of John then it will give me output as 20 so what we learn from here is that if I remove this line then what would happen is I need to do something called STD now because inside the IO stream library how the functions are coded is like namespace STD so we either need to make use of the using namespace std or we need to make use of the namespace scope resolution operator and then the function or the stream or variable or whatever we are using so it's better to use using namespace std at the top because most of the functions of c++ inbuilt library already use the namespace std and you could find that in algorithm or in vectors or 
in C math library or whatever you can imagine in strings as well so that was a quick tutorial on using namespace std and why do we actually use that so i hope you guys are clear now why do we use the namespace std and what actually namespaces are and if you have still any doubts then don't feel shy to leave a comment and i'll try to answer that as soon as possible so that's it for this tutorial and i'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching goodbye